My father is Leon Riggs, who actually started United Hope Foundation back in 2005. I remember sitting with my grandfather at his house, and he looked at me, and we were, he enjoyed talking about business all the time. He also enjoyed talking about giving back. He looked at me and he said, I'm going to form a foundation. I was not really surprised because he gave back a lot. And we sat for an hour or so trying to think about new names or different names, and it stuck. United Hope Foundation was it, and it was his first choice. And it was kind of funny because it really just kind of took on a life of its own. It's not that we really even had a lot to do with it. It was just the philosophy of going out and helping people, and it just kind of became something bigger than we were. He was very passionate about people that, you know, didn't have. He, he, one of his favorite quotes was, you know, you can, you're never too big to put your hand down and pull somebody up. My name is Jill Bennett. I'm the executive director of the United Hope Foundation. United Hope Foundation supports individuals and families faced with extreme financial hardship. We also work with local nonprofit organizations here in central Indiana. We created the Leon Riggs Scholarship Fund, which benefits the early learning centers in Lawrence. Recipients of this fund are families who can't afford to send their children to preschool. So we are providing them with scholarships so they're able to send their kids to preschool and get the education they need before they go to kindergarten. Here at the Early Learning Center, the curriculum is different in that it's based on individual needs of children and also looking at every child's capability. We believe that children can do more than we've ever expected if we provide rigor, relationships, relevance, things like that. Probably a dozen families have been helped just this year through the Leon Riggs Scholarship and this lets them stay in school. Because preschool isn't mandatory and there is no state funding, Indiana is one of only nine states to have no state funding for preschool, if family can't pay their child just out. And then when they go to another place there's a long waiting list and of course we believe our programming is best here so the Leon Riggs scholarship money lets the child stay here and they don't have to be moved out of school. We are so grateful for that help from the Leon Riggs scholarship fund. Without that we couldn't help these kiddos and so we are so thankful, so thankful. Leon's Hope is a fund that was created to help individuals with developmental disabilities. We currently partner with Noble of Indiana and Noble of Indiana works with individuals who have developmental disabilities and they try to provide the most normal life they can for these individuals they're serving. Since 1953, Noble has been committed to one mission, which is to create opportunities for individuals to live meaningful lives. We serve children and adults with developmental disabilities like Down syndrome, autism, cerebral palsy, and other intellectual disabilities with an array of services that meet every need of their lives. Organizations like United Hope are critical to our ability to serve individuals with disabilities and we are so appreciative that they partner with us in helping to uh, fulfill our mission. Um, we couldn't do it without organizations like United Hope because they truly understand the need that our community has for these services and how these services strengthen families and strengthen the overall fabric of community life. Keep of Hope is a housing and utility assistance fund that we created primarily because we found, we found that there was a need in the community. Financially stabilize households through comprehensive case management, as well as emergency financial assistance. We currently partner with the John H. Bonner Community Center with their Center for Working Families program to provide support um, for these individuals and families who can't afford to pay for their utilities and housing. My name is Dean Johns and I'm with the John H. Bonner Community Center, I'm responsible for our Financial Foundations Department. Here at the Bonner Center, we are committed to assisting families um, to stabilize themselves financially and to grow over time. The Bonner Center is extremely grateful for the support from United Hope Foundation. There's a lot of work that still needs to be done, and we're just in baby, we're doing baby steps right now. We're only like six years old, so I mean, we have done a lot in the last six years. 
raising over a million dollars that we've given away, but still that money can go really fast. So it's just going to be a constant thing where people need to actually keep us in mind every year at Christmas time or every year when on a special occasion they could have, you know, donate to United Hope Foundation. Uh, Lore Corporation and United Package Liquors uh, both match to a certain extent dollar for dollar of what is donated by customers and by the community. This has meant so much to my dad and if he could be here, he is here, but what I mean is if he could be here mentally and see what he has started, it means so much to him. He is a very giving, loving man. United Hope Foundation is continuing to grow and continuing to expand its outreach in the local Indianapolis community. We need your support. United Hope Foundation is doing some very, very good things in our local Indianapolis community, and 100% of the proceeds from United Hope Foundation will stay right here and benefit our Indianapolis residents and businesses. It means the world to me, and we they do our community, they're our customers. And so we want to give back to them and let them know that we do care, we are out there, we do, we will make a difference in the community. We want to be there.